What's up, Facebook Live? Joel coming to you live. Number two. And I got some guys. For love. Thank you for the shout outs. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. I got some plumbing tips for you today on sump pumps. We're going to teach you a little bit about insulation and also dehumidifiers and keeping the moisture out of your houses is important keeping the bugs out of your houses and if you keep the moisture and the bugs out of your house forever so good to see everybody here this friday evening late night it's about 6 15 here i'm just finishing up at the job site getting ready to go home and have a delicious vegetable lasagna kathy's making at home so kathy when you watch this thank you very much high speed home improvement high speed home improvement at your services today as you can see i'm super tired i've been going non-stop all week long and now we're closing up shop here so I want to share some insights with you how you guys can do some of these repairs yourself at home to save yourself hundreds if not thousands of dollars over the long haul so I had a great conversation with a couple of people this morning regarding keeping the basement dry in our houses these properties down here where we are Matthews in Gloucester Virginia very wet not not many houses I think I saw two houses down here at basements everything else is a crawl space the crawl space from the ground so check it out you know as you get done digging this hole right here i put that home depot bucket in there drilled some holes and i'm getting ready to drop the sump pump in it over here good to see you good to see you logging out here so over here we have the Goulds pump this is the high-end pump this is what you want what's up adam good to see you brother this is good tips for you brother over here we got our insulation i'll show you about cutting insulation right here we have a check valve and there's also a different version of the check valve this guy right here the black thing that's the check valve this thing right here is called a Fernco. If you look, I am not using the screwdriver bit. I am putting a 516 nut on this. When you tighten these things, you don't have to fight with trying to get that thing in that slot. So there's a quick tip for you right there as well. So on these ghoul pumps, here's how they work. This thing goes up when it fills up with water. You hear that click, the switch goes on and as the water pumps out, it goes back down, shuts off and that check valve does not allow the water that's going up the pipe and out of the house to go back into our bucket over here. So if you look at what's going on over here, I got the bucket right there. I'm gonna bring that up here and tie it into this pipe right here, which is going outside. And I think there used to be a fire chimney stack going out that hole right there. So that's just a temporary hole right there. That's a temporary bucket. I will do a better job getting that thing secure. So I'm gonna have all the water being pumped out of the house. As you can see over here, we've got water over here. Had a bunch of rain down here. Over here we got water. I've been pumping out. Here's the key. When you put these sump pumps in, make sure you have a check valve. Now check this one out, Adam. This is good for you to know, brother. So with these new ones here, this is off of the shelf at Lowe's. Here's the box right there, inline sump pump check valve. It has this rubber grommet right here that's flip, flip reversible. You can flip it over. So this right here is set up for inch and a half. This side is set up for inch and a quarter. So if you see that rubber adapter is like a fern co, inch and a half to inch and a quarter, you can use either one, inch and a half on this side or inch and a quarter on this side. All you have to do is flip around this rubber piece right here. So I thought that was pretty cool. I never saw that before, so I wanted to share that with you. Also, cutting insulation. I know a lot of you guys are always fighting with insulation, trying to, how do you do this thing to get it to pull apart in time? So I started cutting this thing right here. Here's the, t here's the secret. Get a sharp knife and just cut the paper where you want it. And as you cut the paper where you want it, then you can go ahead and get a board and press down on it. This is even better. Or just take your knife and you can cut the insulation Two shots across, and then my buddy EJ Joseph of Danbury Insulation will show you guys how to do this. He's been doing this for 35 years. And look at that. Cut like butter. Now you don't have to fight with that, Adam. So, hope in the moving the here at this property now. I think it's about, about six weeks, seven weeks now at this property. Roof's on it. Over here, let me show you over here. We got the dehumidifier. So, here's how a dehumidifier works. This one is a pump out dehumidifier. That number that you see right there, 80, that's the humidity right now in this property. We had heavy rains here last night. Our sump pump wasn't working outside, so the water came inside. And all this moisture, and here's what it causes, mold. Those are brand new 
two by eights and they're already starting to get mold on it. So we're gonna clean that off, get that sprayed with insulation, get this dehumidifier over here. There's like a little butt button on here right there. See that P? Hit that button, it'll pump the water out. Or over here, you can hook up a hose. You can see that little inlet right there, outlet. And you take that hose and you run it into our sump pump and just let it drip and let it run 24 seven, which is what I'm gonna to do tonight. And we got thing running. Fill that bucket up with all the moisture from our dehumidifier. So I just bought this one here. This isn't the best one, High Sense. They have better models out there, but this is what they had on the shelf today, and we needed it, so that's what I did. So check it out. We got our insulation on the walls, on the ceiling, sheetrock on the walls, sheetrock on the ceiling. So this right here, this purple board, they have green board as well. That is water resistant. That's what you want to put down behind any kitchen. As you can see over here, we got our two plumbing pipes getting ready to get buttoned up over there. Two outlets over there. We'll get the GFI going on that bad boy. So we're looking really good here. All the floors are down. We secured the floors up. Yeah, looking good, Adam. Absolutely, brother. Wait until you see how fast we transform this thing once we get all this framing done. As you can see, Adam, check it out. We had to do all these boards. Every single one of those boards had to be redone, even in the bathroom. So all these floor joists had to come out because all these floors just did nothing but collapse. So this is all framed up in here for our bathroom. As you can see over there, we got our toilet, and that's the main drain going outside over there. So everything in this house is getting gutted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach my students with all the videos and all the pictures I've been taking of these properties going forward. And this is post-COVID 2020. This is how you flip a house. This will probably be the last time I'm doing these deep videos like this. I'm going to be having other people do this work. But the reality is I have to teach people this, so I have to do the work the work then they can go out there and have veterans building better homes for veterans or contractors building better homes for veterans so i hope you guys are having an outstanding friday close the week strong fridays are for closers close up all your business so you can get present with your present with your kids present with all those that are counting on you to show up as the leader that you are appreciate you guys keep showing up you have not seen nothing yet when it's all said and done together the prize is one. Have a blessed and fantastic weekend.